What's up y'all? It's Monday about 11.30 and we headed out to do a little ammo hunting. As usual, I've been so busy lately, I hadn't had a chance to come out the last few days. Uh, and honestly, it just hadn't been a priority the, these last few, actually few weeks. Um, because, you know, ammo is so plentiful out here now. It's not, it's not really like I'm having to rush or, or be in a hurry to go try to find something in stock. But I'll definitely still grab anything that I feel like is a decent deal right now. So let's head down here to the Rural King and see what's happening this morning. All right, y'all, it's going to be a real quick one in the Rural King. I don't think they got anything different. All of this 308 y'all seen before, and I've actually got all of it except for this. I may end up getting a box of that, but I'm going to hold off for now. So same stuff there. 45 looks yeah. the same. I don't see anything different there. They about got rid of all this 5.7 already, even at 48 bucks a box, people's buying that. Of course, the 30 Super Carry, it ain't going nowhere at any kind of price. 40 looks exactly the same again. Full metal jacket and the hollow point uh well i got this 18.99 ammo ink i don't know if it was still here last time still got that american gunner 16.97 if i was getting hollow points for 40 that's probably what i get right now then they still got a big old pile of that 10 millimeter i'm surprised it's not going faster nine millimeters same story exactly the same stuff all of this hollow point full metal jacket i don't know if i showed this last time but it's pretty funny to see covered up the picture with a sticker of the nickel plating since they're not putting nickel plating on them anymore some of these still have nickel plating some of them don't mighty funny that the price isn't any difference they didn't drop the price by leaving out the nickel but yeah still the same here 22 looks exactly the same tons attack 22 they got a lot of this arm score left at 399 i think that's the cheapest 22 in here right now 556 223 looks exactly the same the 223 arm score at 1199 I think that's their cheapest 223 right now. Still got some of this 6.5 Creedmoor. I might get another box or two of that just because I'm getting really close to picking something up. So want to have enough to sight it in and all that good stuff. But other than that, 350 Legend, 450 Bushmaster. And then the shot shells, exactly the same as what y'all saw before. So not a lot going on in here in the Rural King today. All right, y'all, made it out to Rural King again. Um, really not much to talk about in there today. Tons of ammo like there has been for the last few months, but just nothing new or nothing that I really need anyway. So anyway, I'm gonna stop by the Wally World and run into my local shop on the way home. There's a couple things in there I wanna look at. Uh, if there's anything new in there, I'll give y'all a look. If not, we'll come out here in a couple days and hit it again. What's up, y'all? It's about 11.30 on Wednesday and we're bringing this ammo hunt to a close again. Really only picked up a couple boxes so far this week so unless they got something good worth picking up out here at one of these places today it's gonna be a pretty slim week but let's run up here to the rural king and see if they got anything worth grabbing all right y'all in the rural king you know the drill i'm gonna go fast unless it's new so all the 308 again but here's something new i'm definitely gonna get a couple boxes of some 30 30 150 grain uh just a power shock federal 29.99 so not the greatest price but not terrible right now these 150 grain extreme point 350 legend these are new in here 27.99 for those 45 acp looking the same hollow points and the full metal jackets got a little bit of um silver tip 380 down here for 21.99 we've tested those they definitely not the greatest 40 smith and wesson looking the same as far as i can tell plenty of hollow points and full metal jacket looks like they got some 21.99 arms core here i actually might grab a box of that just because it's so cheap 22 lr looks the same the cheapest is going to be that arms core still for 3.99 They've actually got some red rattlers in here for $8.99. We're gonna leave those sitting there. And they got some 17 HMR here, 17 grain VMAX for $16.99. A little more nine millimeters stuck over here to 100 round boxes of Winchester for $38.99. Five, five, six, two, two, three. That looks exactly the same. Still got a little bit of the six, five Creedmoor left in the match and the regular PowerPoint stuff. And shot shells looking exactly the same as it has. The steel shot, plenty of those Sabo plenty of that blind side all right y'all rule king looked about the same today other than a few little things that i actually did pick up so from here i'm gonna run into walmart real quick and take a peek uh, i'm gonna run by my local shop if there's anything new in either one of those places i'll let y'all have a look if not i'm just gonna cut it short right there and we'll head to the house and i'll show y'all what i ended up with all right y'all we're back at the house to wrap this thing up again this was a pretty slim week this week honestly there's tons of ammo out there but it's really just nothing i need right now um um, you know, I've, I've been bulked up. My, my whole purpose in buying ammo for the longest,
longest time ain't been to bulk up or or stock up on stuff like nine and five five six i've got tons of that stuff i've just been looking for stuff to test and there really hadn't been nothing new locally to me uh that i hadn't already tested or that i don't already have that I hadn't tested yet you know what i mean so uh just a slim week this week but i did still pick up a few things so let me show you what we got right quick here um y'all know six five creedmoor i've been buying a little bit of it lately in preparation for something new coming so i got a couple more boxes of this winchester powerpoint they had in there the 129 grain uh, just soft point basically powerpoint winchester super x as you can see there 129 grain soft point um y'all know these are 28.99 per box so not the cheapest but it's pretty decent ammo so 28.99 a box for six fives not bad so i'll end up having the most of this reason i bought a couple more boxes i'll use this probably for sighting it in since i've got uh i don't know probably 100 or so rounds maybe a little more than that of, of this so but anyway two more boxes of that at 28.99 and then i did end up picking up one box of this 40 smith and wesson full metal jacket just regular 180 grain just ball ammo nothing special to it it is flat point though so uh 40 smith and wesson 180 grain full metal jacket this stuff was 21.99 per box so not real cheap but it's just basically a decent price right now for 40 smith and wesson and believe it or not i don't have a whole lot of ball ammo on 40 smith and wesson i bet i've only got um i don't know a couple few hundred rounds of ball ammo 40 smith and wesson so since it was a decent little price in there i figured i might as well grab one so one box of that again at $21.99. And then to round it on out, I ended up grabbing three boxes of that 3030 y'all just saw in there. The Federal Power Shock 150 grain. Again, this is just some jacketed soft point, but 3030. It's still a little bit tough to come by locally around here. I'm seeing it a, a lot more often, but when I do see it at a decent price, I'm still going to grab it. Uh, this was actually $25.99. They had $29.99 written down in handwriting on a little tag. I think that was something that must have been there before. When we rang this up, it was $25.99. So I got three boxes of that. Not quite as good as the Wally World deal a couple weeks ago. I think that was $22. Bucks, so this is $3, $4 more, but it's still $25. 599 for decent uh 3030 ammo right now is not too bad i actually do have something in 3030 now i've already made the first testing video and all that i just hadn't got it uh edited and uploaded so y'all be seeing that pretty soon and we definitely gonna be doing some more 3030 testing very soon and believe it or not that was it for the week y'all like i said a very slim week compared to what i usually do pick up but uh, again there was just nothing in there that i really needed or wanted maybe they'll get some new stuff in this coming week but it's just been more of the same stuff that i've actually already got so I don't really need it. But y'all let me know what y'all think about the pickups this week. Let me know what kind of scores you might have got yourself and let me know what's going on in y'all's neck of the woods as far as ammo goes. If you do enjoy my videos, make sure you reach down and hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel and click that bell notification icon so you can get notified when I upload new stuff. Make sure y'all check out my affiliate links down below in the video description. You know the deal with the Amazon. If you shop through there anyway, hit that link up first and anything you buy after going through that link into their site, I get a kickback from them towards the channel. If you're looking for some good ear pro i cannot say enough good about those axle gs extremes hit those links up down below you can save a lot of money versus going straight through their site as always i appreciate all my range gang members for hitting that join button and every single one of y'all that watches my videos hits the thumbs up subscribes to the channel and like i said leave me some comments down below let me know what's going on with the ammo around y'all i still got tons of good stuff coming y'all's way so make sure you stay on the lookout for that and in the meantime stay safe stay prepared and i'll see you soon